Hello, Dr. Wingo, coming to you from the floor because I'm installing my new SSD in my PS5. Uh, oh, I held it wrong. So, as you may, may know, as you should know, PlayStation came out this week, or last week, recently, <laughs> with the new operating system, new system software, that allows you to add a solid state, an M2 SSD, if it reads at least 5,500, I believe, uh, gigabits a second. Well, I shopped around on Amazon and elsewhere and found that for capacity, this is a two terabyte, I wanted two terabytes, and speed, this one is 7,100, and price, this one is, I always get the prices wrong. Just look down in the comments below or I'll, I'll put them here next to my head so you can figure out what the price is. I want to say it's 369 it, it, just look. Okay, now, the Samsung does not come with a heat sink. So I got a disc cooler ice PC. An ice PC Nice PC uh, heat sink, which is, I believe, one and a half millimeters. There it is. Apparently, it's already got the, uh, the pads installed. All you have to do is peel off the sticky tape. Yeah. So there's your little ice PC. I'm just going to peel off the sticky tape and put it onto the 980 Pro. So I have the, the, the PlayStation it needs to be lying on technically uh, it's upside down. If you have like if you have it on a stand standing up. I have the end that, but the bottom that would be on the stand down here. But if you have it on a stand on it on lying down like this, the stand would be right here. So it's upside down from the way it goes into the AV center. Now you just peek, pull up here at this corner and push down, and voila, off comes the thing. So. As you can see, here is the, the cover. I have pre-loosened this because I was practicing so I wouldn't look like a complete idiot like I do in so many of my videos. So you take out this screw. It's a, it's a, it's a Phillips head. Here you can see. see. See Phillips head. We'll put that over here. Then we need to take off the cover. Now there is, well, I guess first we'll deal with the SSD itself, which, why do they make things so hard to open? I'm just going to rip it open because that's the kind of guy I am. There we go. In a little plastic case plastic lid and there it is now see the it's going to go in this way so I guess the, the yeah see this 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 uh, heat sink will cover from here, which is the end of this chip, to the end of this chip. I believe this is the control. This is actually the end you, get, you worry about getting hot. Because apparently, if you get the actual memory chips hot, 
eh, that only affect performance. But if the if the controller gets hot, that's when things get bad. So we line this up. And press it down. And now we have a Samsung SSD. Oh, and I've watched a bunch of videos and they all say leave the stickers on because the stickers are actually part of the heat remove. I, I don't believe it, but that's what they say. Now you take out this little screw here. Well, I've pre-loosened it to make my life easier. Apparently I didn't pre-loosen it enough. And my hand, of course, is completely blocking what I'm doing, but you know what I'm doing. I'm, 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 I'm unscrewing this screw right here. There, it's off. Put that over there. Now you want to move the little spacer to the appropriate spot. And as you can see here with this SSD, that's the appropriate spot. Now, excuse me, I have to scoot up a little. There. So you put it in at a slight angle. There's a, there's a little tooth. See, there's a little gap. Let me put my glasses on so I can see the little, there we go. See, you line up the little thing with the little gap. I think I'm a little too, I'm, I'm a little too low. Oh uh, yeah. You, you have to come up a little bit. It's not, it's not down flat. It's up a bit. So I slide it in. See, and then you push it in and then boom. And then it should be like that, which it is. And then you take the screw you took out, put it into the spacer. Now the camera's kind of in the way of the screwdriver. Here, let me let me move the camera down a little. There we go. It is in position. Now, we put this guy back on. And then we put this screw back, which by the way is, I don't know, well, here, let me move the camera again. Look how tiny the, that little X is in the Phillips head. So you need a really, I had, th th this one was too big. This one was too big. My nest one was too big to fit into that little, well, now I have to move the camera back so I can get in there. There we go. Now we put the cover back on, which is just the opposite of the way we took it off. If you notice on the back of the cover, see they have all these little things that point up. So you line all those up with these little spaces on here. There. So you get those all lined up. And then you push it up. And presto. It's back. Okay. Now. Well, I guess I'll... I, 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 I'll probably edit all this out. I'm going to edit most of this out here because I'm I'm just putting plugging all the cables back in and putting it back in the entertainment center. So when you first boot up, actually when you turn on your your PS5, you get this screen, and you click format your SSD, and boy does this take a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's really quick. And it says there, my read speed is 5788. Now, if you recall, 
The Samsung thing said it was 7100, so I'm going to come back and talk about that a little later. But 5800 is what I'm getting on the PS5. Okay, now you get to your. Uh, there we go. We go down to storage. And there we go. We have console storage, which is almost full. We have the M.2, which is empty. Here's all the game and apps. I've edited out for speed there. I'm going to move a 11 gig file, the Astros Playroom, and you can see, boy, it is just zipping over there. Boom. 11 minutes, 11 seconds, 11.46. It has a double thing, but it's actually a point. But anyway. So there, now we have 11 gig on the SSD. Now, let's move it back. Now, this is going to take a lot longer. A lot longer. And my thought at first was, well, it's moving on to a completely full console storage drive, so maybe that has something to do with it. So at the end, I'm going, when I'm, when, after I've moved everything onto the M.2 and the console storage drive is virtually empty, not really empty because it will still have save files and stuff, I'm going to do is this again. And it's, I'll let you guess what it's going to be, whether it's going to be faster. I'll give you a spoiler. Really, it's not. Now, oh, about the uh, speed thing. Well, wait, we're about to finish this, so I'll, I'll come back and talk about that in a minute. Because we're just about down. There we go, 51.73. See, that should be point, not double thing, but I I got that from a, from a site that has, to, well, it's in the description below where I got it. Now I am going to move everything not everything i'm not going to move the apps like netflix youtube prime but i am going to move all of the games here and you can see me click going through and clicking them all you can also see i, I told you i like jrpgs see <laughs> by the way keena bridge of spirits just came out really nice game i very much enjoy it okay so the move is going to start as soon as I click OK, 523 gig. Now this is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna talk about the speed thing for a minute. Then I'm probably gonna edit this so that this runs, so we don't, you're not gonna sit here for the whole time it's gonna to take to move all this. Although as you can see the little thing moving, it's not gonna take as long as you think. Okay, about the speed thing. I saw a video where someone pointed out that the uh, 980 Pro comes with a little brochure that talks about this software called the Samsung Magician that you're supposed to download for your PC to make it to, uh, it's, I forget the words, but it's like to enable its true speed. So basically to get the 7100 read speed, you apparently have to have this software running to do something to the draw, to do something to the SSD. Well, that did not sit well with me and there is no such software for the ps5 although maybe there will be in the future but anyway so what i did was i took this drive this this m.5 m.2 back out of the playstation i installed it into my pc into an m.2 slot i downloaded the samsung magician software and as far as I could tell, it was a Windows driver thing. It was not doing anything. It did not write anything to the drive. But I, I went ahead and turned on all the things you could turn. It says, turn this on for faster performance and turn this on. So I clicked all those things and did all that. And then I took it back out and took it back and put it back into the PS5. Well, of course, first thing the PS5 said is, I don't recognize this. I need to format it. So I have a feeling that all those changes I made basically were erased by the formatting. And sure enough, when I then reformatted it on the PS5, I got, it wasn't exactly the same. I think it was 5,800 instead of 5,780. It was like 5,820. So it wasn't any faster. So I was a little disappointed in that. 
So it's not really, you're not getting really the true. Now, 5,500, I believe, is the what you need for, you know, to be compatible with the PS5. And I thought I was getting better than that. Apparently, I'm not. I'm getting, like, just slightly, you know, 5,800 instead of 5,500. But it works. Look at by the way. Look at this. We're two. We're we're, we're two minutes and forty three sec forty four seconds in, and it's already moved. By the way, those were I don't know if you noticed those were sorted in size order, so it's moved the four biggest ones, and we're almost halfway done. However, I'm going to edit this out. Okay, and we're back, and you can see it's still running, but we're almost done. And remember, this was over 500 gig, and it did it in 8 minutes and 19 seconds. Pretty impressive. And then I decided, well, since we'd copied that Astro's Playroom from the, M the M2 SSD to a pretty full console storage drive, and it took like 52 seconds, let's see how long it takes to copy it to one that's almost empty. This is, now they've taken all the stuff off of it. Well, I'll give you a hint. It's gonna take almost exactly 52 seconds again. So, well, let's not even sit here and wait for that. Let's stop and, uh, well, as long as we're, 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 we only have 22 seconds to go. Let's go ahead and get there and boom, 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 boom. 42, 43. Remember it was 52. The magic number is 52. 51. So that was the setup of the Samsung 980 Pro in the PS5. What did we learn? We learned Samsung lies in their marketing because apparently that drive is capable of 7100 uh, reads, but you have to be on a PC with some special Samsung magician software installed. So on the PS5, what you're going to get is what I get, which is like 57, 5800, which is fine for the PS5, but you're... They're, bra they're bragging, except they're basically lying. Because, by the way, it said, I don't, I, well, in the, in the Amazon listing, it says gaming drive. Well, not, clearly not, they're not selling it for the PS5. Now, maybe down the road they'll release an app and th or something for the PS5 that'll or turn, it, turn it on, turn on that faster speed, but I wouldn't hold my breath. So you might want to look at other drives. And, by the way, there's plenty of YouTube videos of people smarter than me putting these things in their PS5. So go look at some of those and decide which one you want. Oh, uh, this is, by the way, my Zoom uh, webcam view. So this is what my students see when I'm on Zoom. I also have a green screen that I can drop behind me with, if I ever want to do like streaming where, you know, I'm just a little guy in the corner with, with nothing, you know, but anyway, you don't care about any of that. So that was the that was the SSD in the PS5, the the Samsung 980 Pro, which I do not strongly recommend. Although I don't not recommend it. So <laughs> do what you want with that recommendation. <laughs> yeah. Some people really love it. Some people hate it, and other people just think it's okay. I just think it's okay. So enjoy if you get one, or whatever you want. All I know is I have two terabytes of space. I'm never going to run out of space, although it did cost almost as much as the PS5. Although if you're buying a scalped PS5, it's way cheaper. <laughs> yeah, I know that doesn't make you feel any better, does it? Okay, well, that's it for, for this video. Thanks for stopping by. I will see you in the next one, which probably will not be about gaming. It will not be about the PS5. Oh, and one quick plug for... Uh, if I did, did I already do this? Kena, Bridge of Spirits... Just came out. It, I'm, I'm having a delightful time. It's very, it's very easy, but the animation is great. It's very pretty. I recommend that. And I, oh, and I'm almost done with Tales of Arise, which is also amazing. So go out and get that if you can. Anyway, thanks for coming by. See you in the next one. Bye, everybody.